Hey. Hey, dude. It's been a minute. What's up? Not much. Not much. Haha. <laughs> you? Yeah, same. Except I had a baby. <laughs> That's something. Do you still do art? Yeah, I do. It's actually my career now. Can you design me and my girls' tattoos? LOL. Uh, maybe not right now. I've got a lot on my plate. I promise they're simple. And the same, so really only one tattoo. We just both get the same. Just not right now. Dude, please, LOL. How is Lauren, by the way? Remember when I gave you a ride to your dad's back in the day? Can we have it count for that? Dude, I gave you money for the gas. For real? Yes, LOL. Oh, sh**, dude, my bad. But still, the tattoos will not take you that long. You could have already done them in the time it took to text me back. That's not how art works, dude. Fucking whatever. Are you seriously mad at me right now? Kind of. I don't know. I thought you were chill. Lol, okay. Guess not. What if I, like, paid you? Are you accepting commissions? Yes, I am. They are currently one to two weeks out, though. That's fine. We were thinking of a serpent-like dragon coiled up with a skull over its head. Full color, watercolors. Is that how we do it? I've never done this before. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how you ask. How large a piece? 5x7, 8x10, or 9x12? Can you do larger? Like poster size? No, not currently. Okay, then 9 by 12. Alright, that's 250. What is? For the image. Oh no, it's not for me. It's for my young daughter. She loves your videos. She said you do giveaways. I have in the past, but never an art giveaway. It was an art supply giveaway, and it was years ago. Okay, I just think 250 is a lot for what we're getting. I can make a smaller piece for a little less money. What would 5x7 be? 150. Wow, still really expensive. You aren't planning on doing any giveaways in the future. I am, just not until the new year. You couldn't make an exception? She's young, she's 12, and a good student. I commend her for being a good kid, but I just can't make exceptions. My prices are already pretty fair considering. <laughs> okay, good luck with that business model. Sharon? My, my name's not Sharon. My daughter loves your videos. She would really like the art you made with the skulls and the flowers. Oh, sorry, I'm keeping those. They were originally for my house. You don't have copies? The prints sold out overnight. I'll be releasing more in the new year. She really loves you. She always supports you by watching. I really appreciate that. Tell her I say hi. Can you make something for her? No, sorry, commissions are closed until the new year. You can't make money that way. I make money a different way. Commissions help, but I really do them to interact with my viewers. Please, she would really like something from you for Christmas. I'm sorry, the answer is no. I can notify you when they open again. The holiday season will make you money. I've taken all my holiday season commissions already for people who ordered in advance, not on December 18th. Wow, very rude. I might just tell my daughter to stop watching if you're going to be so rude, okay? If you're going to be so rude. I'm sorry you feel that way. Unsubscribed. MZ, what's up? I miss you. Hey, see me? I miss you too. It's been forever. Yes, we should meet up soon. I'd love that. I want to see the babes. I love all the pictures on Facebook. He is so cute. Thank you. Hey, do you still draw? Yes, on the daily. It's actually my job now. I feel lucky. That's awesome. Do you think you could design a tattoo I want to get? Sure, what are you thinking? I want a half sleeve of a statue of a woman, like a Greek statue, with flowers surrounding her, like she's kind of in the background. Okay, just ink, no color? Maybe a little color. That'll be like $100. No, really? Could you do it for free? Girl, you work a trade, you know it's hard out here. 
Yes, girl, I really do, but I don't have any extra cash right now. How about you do my hair for it? That's fair. That's more than fair. No color, just a cut. Nah, I had to go to school for cutting hair. And I went to school for art. But you could do art before you went to school for it. It's a natural born talent. Girl, a trade is more than fair. No, it really isn't. I go to work every day and I got clients. And so do I. You can't just do it for free. No, girl. Wow, okay. In it for the money, never for the art. You're a fucking bitch. These are just a fraction of the times that I have had people that I know, that I'm close to, that I barely know, that have come to me and asked for free art. When you're an artist, these things happen constantly, especially if you're an artist that has any kind of internet popularity, any kind of uh, fan base that may include younger viewers, you get it all the time. And I don't wanna sit here and poo poo on my younger viewers, cause y'all, it ain't you, it's, it's, it's your damn parents. Parent. They out here pretending like they don't know how to act. I'd say seven times out of ten I have parents getting a little short with me, getting irritated with me either because my commissions are closed or because they cost what they cost. I think in their mind if I'm not as popular as Picasso, if I'm not up in galleries, if I'm only popular on the internet then that doesn't make me a real artist well. Newsflash bitch! It's 2019 and we pay people for the work that they do. Oh. Oh, too soon. But yeah, parents are a big one, and then old friends from high school asking me to design them a tattoo. If you think, oh, that's so weird, she got two people asking her that, I have gotten literally 10 or more people who I just barely know or barely knew from high school or even earlier being like, hey, yeah, can you give me free stuff? And if you don't, I'm gonna totally flip out on you and be like, whoa, dude, I fear a chill with a vet. Thought we were sweet bros, dude. It's like, no, my dude, the, the most interaction we've had is you, <laughs> you called me a beer and laughed at me like, get the fuck out of here. Seriously, like that dude, that was like his whole thing is like, hey, Emily, what's up? You're a beer. <laughs> Give me free stuff. So if you ask for free art, you ain't getting it. You aren't gonna get shit, baby. And I know I am preaching to the choir here because 90% of you are like, yes, I totally feel that. Or yes, I've got an artist friend who goes through this on the daily. I get it. Or yes, I am not a total and complete douchebag, so I know it's wrong. I just don't understand how there are still people in this world who believe that creative people are somehow not in the working field, that they should not be paid for their time. Like, what? <laughs> what? In no universe would there be someone who brings their car in, has it fixed by a mechanic, and then goes, sweet dude, but like, can I get it for free because you're just naturally good at fixing cars? It was just an oil change, just some grunt work. It took you like half hour, like, come on, dude. Every single person witnessing that situation would be on the side of the mechanics. So I really wonder why it's not the same for creative professions. Like I try to rationalize it, but it just nothing comes out because I'm like, well, maybe it's because they can't see the work being done. But that's like true for anything that you have to send away and have it fixed or same like with a mechanic you drop your car off you don't stand there and hover I guess that happens sometimes but for the most part no that that's not that's not how it works I find it really amusing that there is a whole subreddit for people like this when really all you need to do is ask any relatively popular artist on the internet if you can go through their DMs and I guarantee you you will find at least 10 choosing beggars being angry that you are charging for art and it's just it blows my mind. Anyway, guys, let's real quick talk about this piece. I made it today using Micron pens, paper castell pens, as well as some White Knights watercolors. Don't ask me how this idea popped into my head because I, it just, it, it just appeared one night. It was one of those nights where I was up late editing, staring off into the distance, wishing that I could get some sleep when all of a sudden, what's that? A drawing of a mortar and pestle some berries and roots and things like that surrounding it, and a woman's face emerging from the concoction. All right, sign me up, baby, the weirder the better. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to stay out of trouble. See you guys later. This video was brought to you by viewers like you.
If you'd like to support the channel, please go to www.patreon.com slash emilyartful. Thanks again for watching. If anyone's curious, here is how the most basic interaction for a request for a commission should go, roughly. Every artist is different with how they conduct their business, but this is the basic, polite formula. Hi, I'd like to purchase a commission. Sure, what would you like? I'd like a cute, fuzzy corgi puppy eating his own tail. An Ouroboros corgi, if you will. All right, what medium would you like me to use? I offer watercolor, black and white ink, or digital. Watercolor, please. And what size paper would you like? Eight by 10. All right, that will be $150 and will take two to four weeks to complete. Excellent. Thank you. See, nice and simple and easy and straightforward, nobody gets hurt, and if the person currently isn't accepting commissions, well then, hi, I'd like to purchase a commission. I'm sorry, I'm not currently accepting commissions. I'll make an announcement on social media if that changes. Okay, no problem. Thank you anyway.